Here we have another question from vector calculus, several variable calculus. We're given a function, a vector valued function, f depends on u and v, and you can consider the column uv as a vector. So you input a vector, you output a vector. We're asked to compute the Jacobian matrix of f. And we denote the Jacobian matrix of f by this j f. And the Jacobian matrix is important, for example, in uh, triple integrals where you're doing change of variables. Okay. You can also think of the Jacobian matrix as a derivative, an extension of the idea of a derivative, just like you know, grad, curl, div, are all kinds of um, derivatives. Okay. So. To compute the Jacobian, it's just basically a matrix where the columns are partial derivatives associated with the vector f. Okay, so let's just write that down. Okay, this is the way I like to do it. You may have seen other ones, other ways of doing it. Uh, so to be this, and I'm just putting a comma in here to separate these things into sort of columns. Okay, so the, of course the subscripts mean partial uh, derivative with respect to the subscript. So, you know, f sub u means the partial derivative of f with respect to u. But this will be a vector. Okay, this will be a vector. So you go up here, you differentiate in a component wise fashion, you'll get a vector, write it as a column, and then you have your matrix. Okay, so let's, let's give that a go. So I go up to here, I differentiate with respect to u, I'll get 2u, and the, that'll cancel with the half. So I'll get u, and if I go down here, differentiate with respect to u, I'll get v. So that and that are the same. And I can get rid of the uh, comma now. So let's go up here, differentiate in a similar fashion with respect to v. So this top component's going to give me negative v, and the bottom component's going to give me u. 